Hello, happy Valentine's Day. Can you believe we are at week six already? You have the reading week next week and I promise I will not give you any homework. I hope you enjoy it. This week we are continuing with our people skills portfolio. We will have two more weeks of people skills portfolio after the reading week. Our first thing up today is our workplace politics discussion assignment. Navigating workplace politics is a challenge <laughs> and it's something that we all have to go through. So having some thoughts about it ahead of time and doing that pre-thinking tends to help. Similar to last week's discussion assignment, the rubric is in here as well. And it's all about being polite and respectful to each other, which I don't have any concerns with this group for that at all. Timeliness is important. We need to get things started to be posted by Wednesday. And the big things for your initial post and your responding to two other people is adding extra information in, maybe from a personal story or a situation that you know of, some kind of short anecdote. Or maybe you find a different expert piece online and you link it to that. That's totally available too. So yeah, so we're doing that today. Well, that's what we're talking about for today. And then this, the assignment for this week is the people skills portfolio from a dysfunctional to a cohesive team. So we'll also look at that. So here we go. There's a video about how to be a better ally in the workplace. I think it's about seven or eight minutes, something like that. And then there's another video about dealing with office politics. Those help give you some of the vocabulary, the language, the thinking, just get your brain kind of working in that direction. So for this week's discussion, please share two to three examples of what type of situations involving workplace politics you are anxious about. What bothers you? What makes you feel nervous? An example I have, I have four people above me, my associate dean, my dean, my academic VP, and the Colts College president. And sometimes you just want to circumvent that and go talk to the source. Sometimes you can't. So <laughs> that's kind of a challenge for me sometimes because I like to just talk to people and get it solved. Uh, let's see. Also use what you learned about emotional intelligence last week in addition to things that you learned about in these two videos and then you should be good to go for that. Please don't hold back. No wrong answers or bad suggestions. It's a conversation. There's a rubric, it's the same rubric as last time. So for your initial post, try to include an anecdote or another source of information. In addition to the ones that we've already got posted there that we've done in class. And for your responding posts, ask questions or maybe provide a different perspective, different opinion. Not just, oh yeah, I like that, good idea. <laughs> it doesn't really help the conversation go forward. And that is what that goal is. We've got the PowerPoint for dysfunctional to a cohesive team, but I think this infographic is much better, personally. Sim I'm kind of a visual learner myself. So for those of you that are also visual learners, at the basis of every dysfunctional team is a lack of trust. So on a high performance team, this is what trust looks like. On a dysfunctional team, this is what trust looks like. Another very common dysfunction is the fear of conflict. Again, on a high performance team, that's what that looks like with conflict. On a dysfunctional team, that's what that looks like. You get the idea. And here's your assignment. We've got Questions to answer in about 250 words. So give me some meat to those. A pretty hefty paragraph is usually about, or maybe two paragraphs, something like that. And there's just the three questions. That's it. My thinking is if you submit that in here, then I will put some, like share your document with me or whatever, and then I can give you some feedback on that. That gives you the opportunity to make any changes before submitting it at the end of week nine, I guess it is. Yeah. Then 
I figured that would help on your end and streamline things on my end. I think we all win. Anyway, I think it was one of my great ideas. <laughs> That's it for this week. As always, I'm around. Yeah, no, barring no power outage. And hop on, ask a question if you like. I shall chat with you later.